the Mughal trashy trove is coming back. This time the version is the first hunt of Genesis. It will start on Tuesday, January 30th and run till Monday, March 11th. Now usually we know how this tombstone event works, but this time they are actually making some really nice changes. Usually when we play the Mughal event, the only way to get the tombstones is by running dungeons. This can honestly become quite boring. <laughs> so this time around, they are trying something new, allowing us to have several different ways to earn the tombstones. And I personally think this is a great idea. So let's talk about the ways we can get the tombstones. First of all, when the objective opens, we will be able to open something called the Mogpendium. The Mogpendium is going to hold all the information about where we can gather our Mughal tombstones. Like always, we can get them by following objectives. There will be the standard objectives, which is the dungeons you know. So you can both see them in the Mogpendium or in the duty finder. But this time is not only going to be dungeons. You will also be able to get them through gates and ocean fishing, which I think is going to bring a really nice variety. I think this is actually a really good way to use the Mandeville Gold Saucer, as the gates there can be really fun. And I expect to see a lot of activity there when the event starts. The next is the weekly objective. So every week you will be assigned one objective from the standard objective list, which is the gates and the dungeons and stuff. If you finish that, you will get extra tombstones. Then there are the mini mock challenges. Now they don't really tell us exactly what are the options for the mini mock challenges, but apparently these objectives can be completed once per week. And based on the photos we see on the website, they seem to include fishing, treasure hunting, hunt, and card games giving a great variety for us as we gather up those tombstones. Finally, there will be the Ultimog Challenge, which can only be completed once per event. This will be a special task that is going to reward us a sizable tombstone reward, but they don't tell us exactly what it's going to be yet. But now with these different event types, we will also have to get our irregular tombstones a little bit differently. The regular stuff like doing the dungeons and such is just going to drop the tombstones in our inventory like it has always done. But for these new type of rewards, you actually have to go into the new mock pentium and just claim them. But what do you do with the tombstones? Well, you go find the itinerary muggles and exchange them for handy dandy rewards. These muggles are in their usual places in Limsa Lominsa, New Gridania and Ulda. So what are the rewards this time around? 400 tomes you can get the Mamashita Nekachif, which is unique to the Mughal events. For 50 tombstones you can get the Antelope Doe Horn, the Titania Barding, the Modern Legend Hairstyle and the Yukinko Snowflake Minion. For 30 you can get the Dalmel Mount, the Ultima Horns, both the Decisions Omega Orchestration Roll and the Twilight over Thanalan Orchestration Roll. You can get two ostensibly special Time Worn Maps, you can get the Bomb Pelican Mount, the Boreas Mount, the Rose Lantern Mount, and the Legendary Kamu Mount. And finally, you can get 50,000 NGP points. For 20 tombstones, you can get housing items. Those are the Backrack, the Pixie Apple Basket, and the Barak. And for 15, you can get the Late Elegant Armor of Fending, Maiming, and Striking. This is just a chest piece, though. For 10 points, you can get the Deep Eye Triple Triad card, or the Archihornis card, and for 7 you can get the Stormblood, Gilgamesh card, and the Titania card. For 7 tombstones you can also get the Little Liana minion, and the Griffin Hatchling. And finally, if you end up having leftover tombstones, but not enough to actually buy anything, then you can always buy the Magic Prism Job Mastery, which you will get 10 of for one tombstone. And that is the event this time around. I am honestly really excited because I think this is going to be so much more fun with the different activities we can do. But tell me, what do you think? Is there anything you are going to be aiming for this event? And what do you think about having more different activities to do? Let's talk about it in the comment. And while you're down in the comments, make sure to give me a commendation by liking and subscribing. But for now, all I want to say is, Takvira Horva, Oyv Intisland Acht.